because I'm bored and yeah I don't even know where to start I've been watching live streams lately everyone's a lot of people are going live on Instagram and stuff because you know ain't got nothing better to do and I've been watching these live streams and people are really funny y'all watch on my blog and y'all know Jamal what's his name Brett Brett Gray he's so funny I've been watching the live streams like every day Okay, not every day, like for the past two days. And he's really funny. I've always thought he was funny though. Cause even in the show, he's like hilarious. I love Jamal, Jamal's my favorite. The rest of them suck. Everyone's been talking about Love is Blind and I watched it even before everyone else watched it. Like I watched it when it first came out, to be honest, like when we were still in school. <laughs> Y'all remember school? That was nice. Anyways. Everyone's been talking about Love is Blind because everyone just now started watching Love is Blind. And girl, if you haven't watched Love is Blind, go watch Love is Blind before you watch this video because I'm going to start talking about Love is Blind and I'm going to rant about Love is Blind. So basically, if y'all watch Love is Blind, y'all know all the characters, Amber Barnett, Jessica Mark, Lauren Cameron, Ke uh, Kenny Kelly, um, who else is there, Damien. And Gigi and then Carlton and Diamond Shati first let's start with let's start with um Carlton and Diamond because <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever like I know I should not be laughing about it but it was literally the funniest thing ever like um, when they started arguing mm -mm. And then he didn't tell her. I feel like, honestly, if Carlton told her in the pause that he was bi, or that he had a past of, like, being, like, with boys and stuff like that, I feel like maybe she wouldn't be so, like, maybe she would have accepted it more. I feel like maybe just hurt Diamond, the fact that um, he didn't tell her until they were already engaged. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it was me that's like a very huge secret to keep like you should have told me that like from the get-go you know what i'm saying and like i feel like i guess i understand why he was like scared to tell her but at the same time she can't see you she doesn't know she just knows things about you she doesn't know you if that makes sense so you can tell her whatever because like she can't she can't physically judge you she can verbally judge you but like she can't physically judge you if i if it was me if i was diamond I would rather him tell me in the pause, but basically Carlton, Carlton did not tell them, tell Diamond that he um, was Jorge until Mexico. When he finally told her, she was she was really sad and she was crying. And then she told her that, and then she told him, I think something that she 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 couldn't accept her or something. And then that's when they started arguing. He started talking about her 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 lace front. Oh my god. He did her dirty for real. Like, oh my gosh, Carlton did not have to go. He did not have to come for her like that. Like, for real. He really did not have to do that to my girl, though. I mean, he, he actually cussed her out. They both cussed each other out, though. But, like, Carlton's crazy. Like, their first night together. Ew. Their first night together, when he was wearing that daddy hat. And, like, I don't know the way they were the way he was talking to her. I just it just didn't sit right with me. I was like, this is not gonna work out. Like I can I can feel it. It's not gonna work out. Even from even from the beginning when he said that he was gay in the pods. Well, he didn't say it in the pods, but like he was t saying that to like his camera. From there, I knew that it was not gonna work out when he didn't when he didn't want to confess to her that he was gay. I knew it was not gonna work out to be honest. If it was if I was Diamond, I would not stick with him either. Like. No, like, I don't have a problem with gay people. I'm not, like, homophobic or anything. It's just the fact that he should have told me from the beginning. Like, you can't just, that's a huge surprise. You can't just randomly tell someone that and expect them to sit right with it. Because a lot of people are uncomfortable with, like, gay people. Not that, like, it's a bad thing to, I mean, I don't know. Live your life, to be honest. You gay, you gay. 
it's whatever but like some people aren't comfortable with it and people don't make me uncomfortable but if i'm engaged to someone and like they're gay and i didn't even know they were gay then that would make me uncomfortable that would make me uncomfortable to be honest because i'll feel like they don't really like me i don't know i don't know i don't know they just feel like you know what you want you know next let's talk about it's a good thing they did not end up together carlton and diamond because Thank God they did not end up, end up together. At the reunion though, I was I was happy that they made up because that was that was nice. That was nice that they made up and everything. Uh, anyways, um, let's talk about the world's most hated couple, most hated woman in America, Jessica and Mark. Mark is twelve years old. <laughs> Mark is twelve years old. Shouldn't even be talking to her. That that was just a mess from the get go. Okay, from the beginning, from the pause, when Jessica was 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 talking to Barnett, that's my thing about Jessica. She does not like Mark. She did not like Mark at all. Maybe she liked him like as a friend, but she did not like Mark enough to marry him. I don't know why she said yes. I really don't like. And Mark is so short. Oh my gosh! Like Jessica literally hates Mark. Like you could feel it just watching the show. You could just tell that she hates Mark. So from the pod, Jessica, well Barnett at first told Jessica that he was that he would marry her like tomorrow and whatnot. Don't know why he did that. Barnett too is really stupid. Don't know why he just randomly says stuff without knowing what he wants. But that's we'll get to that. He should not have told Aunt, um, what's his name Jessica that he was gonna marry her tomorrow because that that was a mess. He should not have done that at all. And then Jessica, Jessica went and told everybody that oh Barnett's an F boy. He told me he was gonna marry me, and now he like changed his mind. And then when when she when Barnett told her that he didn't like her no more, that's when um she went to go talk to talk to Mark. Like girl, you don't even like Mark. Like stupid. Like, Jessica's just annoying. Like everyone hates her. I feel bad for her though because on the during the reunion she just looks so like sad and like the way she was talking she, she was saying she had gotten death threats and stuff like that and like that's 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 a lot but to be honest like no one liked her like no one likes her. i should have got a cork or a spoon but no one likes her okay let me tell you what shocked me the most on love is blind kenny and kelly they were like the most low-key i literally thought they were perfect for each other kenny and kelly until all of a sudden Kelly said no. I said, I said, Kelly, baby, what's that about? I said, what's that about? So, Kenny and Kelly, they were, like, good from the get-go. Like, they didn't have no type of problems. The only thing is that they didn't, you know, like everyone else. But, like, I don't know. That, that wasn't a big deal to me. On the wedding day when they were literally at the altar and then um, Kenny said I do and then Kelly said no, I said Wool up, nigga. Wool up, wool up, wool up. Just wool up. I know my eyebrows look bad. Don't worry. I was talking about Kenny and Kelly, right? Kelly, you're wrong for that. Well, I mean, I guess she made the right choice because that's the rest of your life, to be honest. Marriage is the rest of your life. So if she thought she had to say no, then she should have said no. But I felt like she should have talked to, like, Kenny before. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like he just was so embarrassed being left at the altar like that. You know let's move on to um Gigi and Damien oh my gosh Gigi and Damien I've always thought they like okay when they were in the pods I thought they were really cute they were a really cute couple just that they were just kind of weird to me like both of their personalities but I still thought they were a really cute couple when they after and when they got out of the pods they got to Mexico and everything and then uh Gigi started acting up Gigi Gigi's Gigi's too much like too freaking much like Damien has patience and I'm very happy that he said no to her on the altar because she deserved that that girl's wishy-washy AF Damien really has patience for, to, to to have stood with that girl for so long like well not so long but like the 30 days or something before they before the wedding Gigi just I feel like she was lucky kind of disrespectful to Damien too when she was on her phone um, when he was like talking to her, like when he was, he was trying to have a serious, genuine conversation with that girl, and she got on her phone. Like, duh. That was disrespectful. Yeah, Damien's a crybaby. <laughs> Seeing him cry at the wedding was 
funny to me. Gigi, she's just too wishy-washy, but they date now. They're like boyfriend and girlfriend now, and that's really cute to me. I feel like that's what they needed. They just shouldn't have just, I feel like the like whole 30 days marriage or something was like rushed. I feel like they just felt, probably felt rushed or something. And so, like they were just stressing me out or something. I don't know, because they were arguing a lot. And then Gigi started talking about some, um, I don't get butterflies anymore. Like I miss getting my butterflies. I'm like, good, what is he talking about, babe? Like what, what is going on? I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Mm. Gigi was just too much, like dang it. They, they're good now, I feel. From what I see on like social media and like the reading and everything, they're pretty good now. It's just, she deserved to be left at the altar. She was disrespectful, she was wishy-washy. And yeah, Damien had patience to be dealing with that. If it was me, I would've just, mm -mm. I'm surprised she said yes to him. Cause I thought she was gonna be the one to say I don't. I thought she was gonna be the one to say I don't. And then Damien said it. I said, thank you, Damien. Thank you very much, sir. Amber and Barnett. I ship Amber and Barnett more than I ship um, Barnett and Jessica because I just don't like Jessica. Like, I just don't like, just the way she did Mark, just made me not like her. I don't know how she would have, I mean, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have done Barnett the same way since she liked him. But Jessica, oh my God, that girl, Gigi, apparently during the show, she gave wine to her dog. I didn't really see that. I want to go back and like, see if I could find where it was that she did that. <laughs> dog, that's weird. That's really weird. Don't know why she would do that, but. White people, um, what was I talking about? Amber and Barnett, yeah. Amber's really like, Amber's a lot too, but like she's more fun. Like I know I said Gigi was a lot, but Amber's also a lot too, but she's just more fun. Like the way she laughs is like, it's funny to me, to be honest. I guess I can see how Barnett likes it since he into that, you know. Um, Amber's just, mm, Amber's just more fun to me that makes sense like she wasn't as complicated as Gigi she wasn't at least she wasn't wishy-washy with Barnett she was kind of asking a lot of him when when she was all like if a situation comes to where um you have to stand between me and your family who would you choose blah 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 she was asking a lot for him at that moment so that that was kind of interesting to watch and I just felt bad for Barnett because he kept saying he doesn't know he doesn't know because like if y'all watch the show y'all know how Barnett was like it's, Barnett seems like he's a really indecisive guy and he doesn't really know for sure what he wants. So when he kept saying he doesn't know, he doesn't know, I was just like, oh, geez, I hope this isn't the end for them, you know? But good thing they got married and yeah. Apparently at the um, reunion, no, at the reunion, when Amber came for um, Jessica, oh, baby, I said, as you should. As you freaking should. Like Amber, Amber should have got on Jessica a long time ago when they were in Mexico and she was flirting with, and she was all up on her man. Like that's when Amber should have got on her. She had, she had patience with that girl because if it was me, I would have got on Jessica a long time ago. And then she wanted to. Man, Jessica came back to Amber when they were at the club, the bachelorette party. She, Jessica was all up on Amber, talking about some. Oh, I don't want your man. Blah 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 blah. I would never do that to you. <laughs> girl, bye. Bye, get on, bye, 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 go, go, go. Y'all should go watch that show. I know I'm spoiling it if you haven't watched it already, but you should go watch it. Last but not least, everyone's favorite couple, couple of the year, Lauren and Cameron. Everybody loves Lauren and Cameron. They're amazing. They're really cute. A lot of people, to be honest, Cameron is cute to me. Cameron is cute. Cameron is really cute. The only thing is that his hairline is like really far back, but like, he's cute to me. He's good looking. For a white boy not that white boys are ugly but like he's really good looking and like Lauren and Cameron are such a cute couple everyone loves them everybody's rooting for them and yeah there's not much to say about them you know the only like scary thing about Lauren and Cameron was when he met her dad but that was like I feel like that was mostly scary because of how they edited it that's what made it scary in my opinion I was like okay so is he gonna like give her him her blessing like oh my gosh camera what's gonna go on what's gonna happen babe um i don't know if this foundation is expired or not like that. <sighs> that's my whole take on love is blind i would low-key go on that show but like 
I would not get married to anyone. I would just go on there for the experience, to be honest, because I cannot blindly marry someone. That's just weird. Maybe, I mean, it depends on the person. If I meet, like, a really, really nice person, then... Shoot, maybe. <laughs> just go around and get it. But I just, I just can't talk to people I don't know, if that makes sense. Like, I can't talk to people I don't have a background with. I can't, I just, I just don't see myself falling in love with a complete stranger. But, I mean, it worked for other people. A lot of people were talking about how they hope um, Lauren and Cameron is really real and they're not just doing it for the fame and whatnot. I mean, I hope that too because they started a whole YouTube channel and I hope they don't end up like Jamie and Nikki who freaking got divorced or something or got separated. That was, oh, that was something that hurt. That hurt watching that. It sure did. This my shade? Nope. This is my first time doing my makeup during quarantine. I don't even wear this first makeup on a regular basis. I'm just randomly doing this because I'm bored. A lot of people have been saying that they miss school and like, I don't miss school because I hate school, but I just miss dancing and seeing all my friends. But I don't truly miss school. Like, I feel bad that we're not in school. I feel like I took school for granted, of course, but I don't really miss it. I just miss all my friends. video thanks for watching and see y'all probably tomorrow because i ain't gonna do tomorrow bye